What's going on guys and welcome to Dog Sled Saga. This game I apparently came out on Steam yesterday. I think it was in early access earlier, but I never heard of it. And I saw it and I was like, hey, I like dogs. Those are cool. So uh, I asked them, hey, can I take a look at your game? And they said, yes, <laughs> yes you can. So here we are. Uh, so we're just gonna check it out. I don't know too much about the game. I know it has a lot of different elements to it uh, So who knows if it's a lot of fun we might turn it into a series. We'll see uh, anyway. I'm gonna start the game now and Okay, so I'm gonna start with the tutorial I guess to figure out What this is all about press and hold anywhere? Oh Okay I gotcha. It's the first one. Alright, so you get a bunch of dog biscuits and you just throw them. Now, I don't know. Oh my god, you can jump. Okay, drag dog forward. I gotcha. Alright, so that's the tutorial. That's actually really easy. Uh, normally, I don't much like doing tutorials in these types of videos because they take very long. This is perfect. This is the perfect length. Let's let's go into the career mode. Let's do it. Musher license. Select a musher. You know what? This guy has sunglasses. Gotta respect that. Going with him. I like sunglasses. Let's see what this game is really all about. Welcome to Mountain Sta Saint Something. Today I moved to Mountain Saint Something. A new start for me in the dog sledding capital of the world. Uh, an old family friend invited me to be the new resident musher at the Fire Bowl Kennel. His name is Raleigh, apparently. Fire Bowl Kennel. I'm here alone tonight, but tomorrow I'll meet my team and Raleigh will introduce me to the basics of dog sledding. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, so these are dogs, I guess, that you can hire. They all have different personalities and stuff like that. Schnauzer, Husky, Malamute. Let's see, Yellow Lab. I kind of want to go... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the St. Saint Ber Saint Bernard. Look at that. Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. Yes. Uh, change harness color. Let's just make it nice and, and pink. That, you know what? That works for me. Right, that's kind of cool. Uh, change name. Long Shot Husky. That's a stupid name for a dog, man. S Steve. Great name for a dog. Love it. All right, so you need, I guess, three dogs to get something done. So, uh, I'd like a sh schnauzer. Yeah, look at this guy, man. Yes. Now, I'm not going to change too much of that. Coco, Sammy, what? Kisho, Amber, Gracie, Lucy. Let's go with Maggie. Sure, it's an easy name. And then last, I'd like an actual, something like a husky. Uh, or a Malamute, that works. Look at this guy. He's beautiful. Uh, but we gotta pick a sensible name, though, so... Pringus will definitely do. Let's give this one a, a, a blue harness. Go. Alright, so we got our team now. I already know how to throw, but none of them is hungry, though. Here we go. So I wonder if the gameplay is going to get way more difficult than this. I guess we'll find out. I'm mostly interested in the sort of management uh, options that exist in this game and how deep the... Uh, There we go. 
Whoa, is this cool guy? Look at him. He's gonna be the, the jerk of the game, I can already tell. It's like the karate kid. What a jerk, yeah, exactly. Yesterday, some jerks sprayed snow all over me while I was learning the ropes with Raleigh and my new team. Anyway, there's a race today, and I think I should see how I do. Alright, well, let's see. Uh, embarkment Lodge to Fireball Cannon. First place winning is $400. Uh, it's gonna be a clear night. Three dogs, three restocks, great snow quality. Okay. Okay, Raleigh told me he thinks Pringus would make a good wheel dog. There we go. Wonder if any of this really matters, or... This one's strong, though. I feel like we should have a strong dog in the middle, or at the lead, and then a, an obedient one in the middle. That's probably a good idea, right? I mean, I know nothing about dog racing, except that there's dogs and sleds involved. And, uh, that's about it. Is anybody feeling hungry? Oh, yes, somebody is. It's this guy. There you go. So when you see that little thing, you gotta jump. Let's be quick about it, though. Here we go. We're doing good. Just throw biscuits at him. Did I just miss? There you go, buddy. Don't know what this is. What is that? What is that? That doesn't tell me anything. I guess it's nothing? So, you're basically just throwing biscuits at your dogs and that's it? So it looks like the small dog actually gets tired the quickest. Makes sense, because they're small. We all know that small people get tired really easily. Stop. Eat the biscuit, man. I'm wasting them. Come on. No. What? You have to really aim for their head. Okay, I'm out. So I'm guessing the, the lead dog is the most important to... Really, dude? Miss so many of these. Well, second is actually not bad, though, for first race. I'll take that. Too. We got $200. I know they're not actually dollars, but I will just call them dollars anyway. Alright, not super... Okay. Happiness is great. See, he did really good. Steve did real good. But he's really tired. Uh, okay, so... Perfect. Happiness up is great. Alright, I don't know what any of this means. I have no idea. Today's my first day off, so I need to decide a regimen for my dogs. Click the regimen button in the top right. It's pretty big. I mean, it's pretty easy to find. Good job. Click the task in the top left to change it. Alright, so it's racing right now. I can choose to do caretaking with my dogs to alleviate their fatigue quickly, or I can train them to boost their skill warm-up. Uh, reduce their fatigue would probably be for the best right now. I can pick which dogs to participate or stay home to the right of the task button. Idle dogs will get a little rest. When I'm ready, the proceed button will advance to the next day. Alright, so we need all of them, though. So, when they're here, that's good, right? Yeah, so none of them are idle. Alright, so let's do it. Let's take care of them. So, it looks like they are getting a little bit less fatigued, but also less skilled. Uh, which isn't that good. I don't know what this is either. My dog was breathing really hard. What's your dog's breathing to anticipate their hunger? If they're breathing heavily, they're getting tired fast. Okay. So that's actually kind of cool. I can ask about certain things and see... Uh, what you should do. 
Okay. Miniature schnauzers are affectionate, willful dogs that make up for size with gusto, uh, gusto based on Shotzi. I don't know what that means. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. How about Steve? St. Bernard's are large, good-natured, brown and white dogs. I know that. That's not... Why would I ask him about this? I have internet. This doesn't make sense to me. I'm gonna go... Let's see. Quick errands. So, we do have a race in four days. So, what we'll do is we're gonna do a little bit of training. Yep. Uh, let's see. Alright, so they gain a bit of skill, but they also get a little bit more fatigue, maybe? Let's keep doing this. If I could get them to level 1 before the race, that would probably be pretty good. We have one day remaining, I guess? Uh, let's see, alright. So, Association HQ to Granola Township. We've got a... Challenge League Average plus 2? I don't know what any of this means. Alright, well, let's just go and see if we can do better. Uh, they're not very exhausted, so we should be okay. Uh, they said this guy would be a good lead dog. Let's just go with this again. Also don't know what these traits mean. I mean, you guys saw the tutorial, so it's not really that... Uh, in-depth when it comes to certain... things. Okay, front dog, go. Yeah, I like the music though. The music's real nice. There you go. Oh, come on. Eat the biscuits. What is wrong with you, dog? I swear to I'm so this stupid dog. Do I get to put down dogs if they don't perform well in races? Old Yeller style? Seriously, this dog. It's eating is like the most easy thing to do for animals and humans. You literally put something in your mouth. Then you close your mouth, and you chew the food. That is it. It's really easy. Stop being an idiot. Oh, he's barking now. Don't know why. I guess we'll ask about that later. Oh, no. He's hurt. He's hurt. Untangle. Go, guys. Come on. Why did you bark? What was his problem? Yeah, alright. We're doing good. We got this. Alright, so you want to make sure that the rope is tight and we're about to overtake someone. That's good. Do a little jump there. I can throw something while jumping. That's actually kind of badass. As far as actions during a dog sledding race go, I mean, that's probably one of the more badass things to do. Still, though, not that badass, but I'll take it. I mean, if we had a gun, that could, that could get pretty crazy. We don't, though. Alright, come on, number two. Dude, this guy's tired again. I guess because he got hurt, he somehow gets tired a lot more easily? Uh, that's bad. Come on, we can win. We can win, guys. Oh, we're so close. Are you kidding me? We almost made it, too. Stupid dogs. No food for you tonight. You disappointed me. Alright, so they got exhausted a bit. Oh, he did real good. Maggie did really good. Or she, I guess I should say. Well, pretty good. Oh, Steve's real tired. Three perfect alright, so when you when you I guess throw a biscuit perfectly, they get some somehow train a bit better. I don't know how that works, but you know, sure. All right. So at least they're all level 1 now. Uh, I'm actually going to change the regimen for now and allow them to actually rest for a little bit. Let's see what we're writing. Raleigh started to tell me about a famous dog named Aurora. He said she was the reason dog sledding became so popular in Mount Saint something. So what about the dog? You didn't even write that down. This is the worst journal ever. Seriously, there's very little information in there. Alright, so what about the barking, though? Uh, let's ask him about this. Barking. 
When your dogs bark, their unique skill just came out. They'll probably do something useful. The frequency of their skills based on their skill level. I can help you put a finger on each dog's skill if you're observing with them. So that's pretty good then. Looking pleased. If you see your dogs get happy about something, you just found their favorite thing. This is one way to increase your happiness besides resting. I can help you put a finger on each... Okay. Alrighty. Tangling. If there's too much slack on the tail line in front of them, dogs may get tangled and slow down severely. When this happens, click them repeatedly to give them the order to untangle themselves. You don't do it for them, they have to do it themselves. Dogs will naturally have good happiness. Dogs will get unhappy if they have deep fatigue or a few other reasons. Enjoying their favorite thing will make their happiness go up for a while. Happiness affects how often a dog's fault may occur. So basically they start messing up when they're unhappy. And then I put them down. Your dogs can develop a specialty for certain positions. In their specialty position, dogs won't get tired as quickly. Depending on their aptitude, their specialty will increase with experience. Alright. That sounds pretty cool. Sure. Malamutes are huge, shaggy arctic dogs with a curly tail. That, again, that doesn't really help me. I can already see that. When you feed a dog right when they really need it, you'll know that the timing was perfect. They'll get a brief speed boost, increased skill chance, and progress towards leveling up fatigue capacity. So, the more you train them, they actually get fatigued a little bit less. Uh, when dogs get hungry, their speed will drop and your sled will slow down. Toss them food to liven them up. Alright, well we figured that one out, but I figured I might as well just get rid of all of these. Rough races can cause dogs to gain fatigue. Light fatigue goes away quickly with rest, and dogs don't mind it. Deep fatigue is gained if all light fatigue slots are filled. It takes more rest and causes dogs' happiness to go down. So that's actually, um, what happened to Steve there. I don't care about any of this anymore. So we can see that he has two deep fatigue. Uh, so he will actually need to, uh, okay. He'll actually need to, to rest a little bit more than the others. Those are gonna be fine, actually. This guy, though, needs to rest a bit more. Uh, so I'm gonna go to training. And then you can go to idle. Let's see if that actually helps, though. I honestly have no idea. Not that much. In fact, their skill level is starting to go down a whole bunch. And I, I don't know why. But I know that I don't like it. Alright, so we are training, though. Let's do one more little training day. Alright, so I'm actually gonna, just going to have Steve train as well. Sorry that you have some deep fatigue. I don't know what to tell you, but you are you are slacking and you're, you're bringing us all down. And if you keep this up, I will have to shoot you. Alright, so... The weather is foggy. Two stars. Again, I have no idea what this means. Uh, Alright, so this should be an easier race, though. Uh, I'm not gonna have him lead, actually. I'm gonna have him... I'm gonna have the little Maggie be the lead dog. So I don't know if red uh, necessarily means that it's a bad thing. Like, would he really be that bad as anything but a lead? Nope, that's not it. I have no idea what's going on. Let's go. I'm just gonna throw cookies at them or biscuits, whatever, and I'm sure that we'll we'll figure it out. There you go, doggy. Keep running. I believe in all of you. There you go. Oh, I missed it. Yelping. Oh no. I mean, that's probably pretty bad. Stop. What is it? I have no idea what is going on here. Why'd they yelp? Alright, made the jump. We're good. Eat the cookie. Maybe, really, the small dog was not the best choice to have in the middle. Pringus apparently is doing good. We're gonna end really, really... Low. This is not this is not going well at all. Oh, I just hit him in the head. <laughs> that was pretty good. Wait, the camera's flashing. Is that good or is that bad? I honestly have no idea. Come on, eat it. You're, you're gonna make it. Untangle. I don't know why this thing is red. Does that mean that they're in a bad position or something? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. 
This game really does seem to be very trial and error. Oh, we're still gonna end second though if we if we do this correctly. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that was the finish line apparently. All right, so second place is not bad. We've been getting nothing but second place so far, but you know, I'll take it. Did he die? Oh, wheel specialty level one. That was too bad. He's got a good relation with Maggie now. Oh, he's gotten famous. That's awesome. Maggie's really good. He's pretty happy right now. Buddies with everybody. I, I kind of like how um, they both kind of like Maggie, but apparently they don't like each other. They only like, like Maggie. I don't know what that is. I don't know what what Maggie did to mess this up, but it's kind of it's pretty cool. Uh, racing. Time for some training, boys and girls. I actually think we have two girls and one boy. But anyway, Raleigh told me more about the historic dog Aurora. He said she first appeared one night at a man's cabin deep in the wilderness on the night of the Northern Lights, hence the name. Raleigh said the man tended to describe it as mysterious. Uh, it's just a dog. How's that gonna be mysterious? Maybe if it were shooting balls of fire or something, that'd be that'd be pretty mysterious. But I'm guessing it did not do that. Apparently, Steve is still uh, plagued by the fatigue. Uh, Maggie got uh, some great experience though. That's nice. I guess we'll just keep training because they're not really uh, calming down that much. All right, I'm gonna allow. No, you know what? We gotta train. Training is all that we have to do. Steve is still not calming down. Like I, I'm pretty sure he just needs to rest up. All right, one day rest. Let's do it. All right, so here we go. This is gonna be a pretty tough race, apparently. Let's just do it. So his specialty is now a wheel dog. Uh, I'm actually gonna put Steve back in the lead. Apparently he didn't do that well last time. 200% chance of a red trait. I don't know if that is good though. And it's been a really long time since they had their favorite thing, whatever that is. I honestly have no idea yet. I have not figured this one out yet. Dude, run, just run. I tried to give you a, a, a little treat just now, but you didn't eat it. Don't go blaming me now. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so at least Pringus is doing really good there at the wheel. Really proving himself. There you go. I'm also not really sure if it was like a good idea or a bad idea to bring all these different types of dogs. I mean, I could see both of those being being true. There you go. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought maybe you wanted a biscuit. Apparently not, though. Come on, keep it going. Okay, I just hit a tree. So apparently you just can't really throw uh, your stuff when there's trees in the way. Makes a lot of sense. Wrong dog. There we go. I mean, you get so many uh, treats and freaking biscuits, you can just throw them like they're candy, which technically they are. They are dog candy. Okay. Didn't want that one. You know what? I think I, I get the feeling that we are doing better with him in the lead, with Steve in the lead, although I do not know if that's actually true. It just kind of feels that way. Don't yelp. Don't do that. Here, have a cookie. Have a treat, man. I got you. Dude, I'm not seeing anybody. I think we're doing really badly. Oh, here we go. There's someone here. Oh, there's two people right here. I, actually, I think I've been doing pretty well. I haven't really missed any of these stupid treats too much. Don't yelp. Stop doing that. I hate it when dogs do that. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful shot right there. That was just skill. Pure, pure skill. Come on, finally. We have the ability to actually come in first. I won this so badly. I'm starting to actually get really, really involved in this game. And I don't know why. There you go. Come on, we could do it. 
We could do it, my man. Oh, yes, we're doing it. Oh, my God, we actually did it. Pringus got his favorite. We actually won the race. This is the first race we won. I want to thank myself because it was all me. The dogs really didn't do that much. But look at this. That was beautiful. They do have some, some fatigue now. But, um... They're all getting a bit of fame as well. Look at Maggie. Middle specialty level one. Yeah. Maggie did really well. Got pretty famous by catching a cookie in a perfect way. That was awesome, actually. Uh, they're all happy. We got some specialties going now. Look at that. So they all gained a bunch of skill. That's what I like to see. I do know that two of them do need a bit of rest. So we're going to do... Uh, just care for the dogs. Uh, actually, guys, you know what? This video is l pretty long as it is. Um, if you'd like to see more of this game, let me know. Um, I'm pretty undecided on this so far. It seems like it's pretty simple, but also pretty fun. Uh, the game is on Steam, by the way. Look it up. It's called Dog Sled Saga. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, if you'd like to see more of this game, please let me know, either by leaving a comment or just leaving a like so that I know you guys enjoy this as well. Uh, with that said, I want to thank you guys for watching, if you are still watching. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll see you guys in the next part if there is one. If not, then I'll see you somewhere else or something. I, okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.